Joining us to break it all down is Jerry Vorva, who serves Plymouth Township as clerk. Jerry, good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, let's start with some numbers. How many people have requested absentee ballots in your township, and how does that compare to 2016? Uh, thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, we are up over 12,000 right now, and that is double what we experienced in 16, and that's the full cycle. I mean, this is, we still have five weeks to go. So I'm looking at uh, somewhere between 14, 15,000 uh, absentee ballots, which would be pretty close to three times what we had in 2016. Wow, big numbers. We see your team at work here, ballots uh, stacking up at the, uh, at the township often. So given uh, the demand this year, do you think you'll have a final count of votes in the township on election night, except, of course, for those that maybe are postmarked but come in the mail after election day? Well, you know, we have a great, we have a great staff here. We do have uh, some new technology. We have some high-speed uh, uh, um, uh, ballot uh, tabulators, and we hope to process the majority of the ballots uh, within a 24-hour period. But some of those ballots may come in after election day and that's this year going to be okay well you know we'll see how that pans out i'm sure there's going to be court challenges on the rest of this but whatever the the courts decide or the legislature decides we're going to be uh, standing ready to to do what we have to do now speaking of legislation that new legislation approved today will give you a 10-hour head start on opening and sorting ballots at least will that help in this process absolutely when you're looking at the volume uh, that we're talking about here, which is almost three times what we're really used to, uh, you're going to need that extra time uh, to start processing the ballot so you can get them into the tabulator. All right, now anyone is eligible to vote this year uh, absentee. Uh, filling out an absentee ballot, if that's new for people this year, what the advice do you offer? And can you change your mind after you fill out your ballot? Well, you know, uh, uh, the people voted for 18, Proposition 18.3 back in 18, uh, which allows for no reason absentee uh, voting. And that's one of the reasons you see some of the increase in the, in the numbers. And then, of course, I think what's accelerated that is uh, the COVID uh, crisis. But we would have eventually got to this uh, area where we're doing 75, 80 percent of uh, the ballots being uh, uh, done at, by absentee. Uh, that was going to happen anyway. Just happened faster because of this. Yeah. But you can you can go online and request a uh, electronically request an absentee. You can uh, uh, call and ask for an absentee ballot uh, application, and we'll send that to you. You can email that back to us. You can drop it off, and uh, you once we have that information. And, and I want to tell you, uh, people wonder about security. We check uh, signatures on applications, as you are aware, and you reported uh, of a potential fraud uh, attempt here in Plymouth Township that we caught because we checked the applications and we checked the signatures. So, so uh, we're prepared to do a real good job for the citizens and assist them in any way you can. And you can come uh, um, into the um, uh, township hall and fill out the application there. We'll issue you a, uh, an absentee ballot right on the spot. You can vote it there, you can take it home, but please get it back as soon as possible. The longer you wait, to return that ballot to us. It takes us time to receive that ballot and process it and put it in order so that we have a good count going into the election day counting. Yeah, and we want every vote to count. Jerry, appreciate your time. We've got to leave it there tonight. Good luck to you and your team as uh, election day approaches. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry Vora showing, uh, uh, joining us on Upfront. Glenda? All right, Dave, and 7 Action News, of course, we're here for you uh, to walk you through the election process. You can visit WXYZ.com slash vote 2020. There you'll find a resource guide with everything you need to know before you vote absentee or in person.